season's greetings to you and welcome to another video tutorial on the usd jpy and as usual in this video i will be taking you through my thought process on what my expectation is going to be like for this week well it's important i state here that this is going to be a follow-up video to my previous analysis so i will be jumping right into the current structure where we shall be uh evaluating the financial market using technical parameters to identify trading opportunities lining up for us this new week and before i go into the details of what my expectations are on the usd jpy i would like to share with you how we took advantage of that trading opportunity last week um so at the beginning of last week's trading session we identified a channel between the 136.750 and the 135.750 where we were actually looking out for either a breakout or a breakdown of the channel to give us an opportunity to join a momentum at the beginning of the week so we saw the breakout of this area here which we took advantage of at the beginning of the week which finally led to the breakout of the resistant level at the 136.750 Though we joined the move to the upside here and um, we were stopped out of the position earlier on in the week with some small profit and we actually missed out on that sell momentum that actually happened on i think on tuesday or wednesday we had a sell move but um thank goodness the market gave us another opportunity to take advantage of some trading opportunities here as we saw the sell momentum begin here and then we rode it all the way down that gave us about 200 um 300 pips there about as we had two positions running then we also had an opportunity to join the buy momentum here um later on in the week though we saw the situation as price action um, liquidity dropped a little bit so if you really want to see how we took advantage of all of the opportunities we had last week i will be dropping the link to that video um, with daily commentaries on how we took advantage of that opportunities that we had last week. With that being said, let's dive into the current structure here so that we can look at what we have here from a technical standpoint to make a decision for this week. So it's also important I state here that um, considering the fact that we are within the holiday season, there is a tendency that um, there will be reduced liquidity in the market for this week and we might likely be seeing a consolidation phase around here but we never can tell there could be some opportunity that could come up and we obviously want to get our ourselves prepared so that we can take advantage of those moves when they finally happen well first of all i would like to show you what's happening here on the daily time frame and as you can see here we have been on a long-term bullish momentum a momentum that started this year and we also have that bullish trend line which has been guiding bullish momentum since the beginning of the year however if we zoom into what has been happening here in the last um, four to five months i guess we saw this um, we were able to identify the 135 japanese yen level which has been a very major key level for participants in this market as we saw the breakout of the neckline here in the month of august and it took about three to four months for price action to come back and do a retest of that structure. So during the course of last week's trading session, um, prior to last week's trading session, we saw this consolidation phase between the 138 and the 135, where we said a breakout or a breakdown of that area might likely push price in that direction. And we saw the breakdown happen here on Tuesday, I guess, which pushed price to the downside. Now, things became a little bit interesting. As soon as price tested the 131 Japanese yen level, here during the course of last week, we started seeing buy pressure coming in from that area. So in that regard, I was very curious to see how what is happening around that area that make that area possible for buy momentum to come in so when we go to the past i think the month of august here we saw that that level also had been holding as a buy pressure as a buy niche for participants in those markets in the past so the same thing is likely going to be happening around here as we've started seeing 
by pressure coming in around the structure. So going into the new week, there are two scenarios that we shall be looking forward to here. A situation where price might likely come back to do a retest of the 135 Japanese yen level. Remember, this level was broken during the course of last week's trading session. So we might likely see price come back to do a retest of that structure, possibly to incite another wave of bearish momentum. We never can tell. Or a breakout retest of that structure could incite a bullish momentum back into the trend line that was broken during the last month's trading session. Then the other possible scenario that could likely happen at this juncture is if price breaks down that demand zone outrightly, taking out all the buy position within that structure there to uh, emphasize the strength of the sellers at this particular point in time where a possible retest to structure will further emphasize um, the strength of the sellers here to push price to the downside. So these are the two scenarios that I will be looking forward to going into the new week. But there is um, something I would like to share with you on the lower time frame, that is the forward time frame, where I was able to find a very simple setup that we could use to guide our trading activity. But before I go into the details of what it is looking like on the four hours time frame, I would like to state here that we need to also take into consideration the macroeconomic event that might likely come in, in this week that has a tendency of driving price action. And when I looked at my economic calendar, the only major event that is coming up this week is the Bank of Japan's governors who is going to be having a speech on monday but we don't have the time yet but we definitely know that participant in this market will be looking forward to the speech and we shall be seeing the reflection of this anticipation on the chart as price action so we want to go back into the chart and let's see how participants in this market is likely going to be anticipating this event so what i did now was to scale down to the four hours time frame where i was able to identify a simple setup that we could use to guide our trading activities for this week now if we look at the four hours time frame here i think i shared this on my last analysis here um, the first thing you would observe is the fact that price has been on the bearish momentum since the month of october and as a result of this, I was able to connect the series of lower highs to give us that bearish trend line, which you can see with a green dotted line on your screen here. Now, in addition to that important trend line is the wanted year Japanese yen level, which at one point in time has been holding by pressure. If you see what happened during the month of November, this level has been holding by pressure before we finally witness the breakdown of that structure here on the first day of this month. And since the breakdown happened here, you will notice that price has continued to trade below the structure here to further emphasize the strength of the sellers at this point in time. Now, with, this, with the selling momentum continuing right below the 138 and also respecting that bearish trend line one more time, um, it is very, very reasonable that we continue to look out for selling pressure in this market now if we zoom into what happened last week here uh following the impulsive move that happened on tuesday i guess which i told you i missed initially so we saw this impulsive move to the downside and one thing you would observe is that as soon as price got into the 131 japanese yen level a level which i showed you on the daily time frame that has been holded by pressure at one point in time that is in the month of august we saw buy pressure come in from that area and you can see what price action has transitioned to here since the retest of that demand zone so you can see we saw is um, is technical structure that looks more like a rising wedge at this particular point in time and you could actually call it a flag pattern in the case may be now in this kind of stroke with this kind of structure now uh well um if we look at this from a technical standpoint this is a uh, uh, uh a trend continuation pattern that that is there is a tendency that price might likely break down the temporary bullish trend line here followed by selling pressure below the structure to send another wave of bearish momentum however it's not all the time that price action does this with this kind of structure as a tendency of a breakout of the structure also is very very likely where a buy pressure above this level could incite a retracement 
of the previous impulse leg that we witnessed last week. Remember, we had this impulsive move, and the buy momentum we have been witnessing here could likely be a retracement of that move into it could be the bearish trend line or the 135.600 area to incite another wave of bearish momentum. So to make things easier for us during the new week, I was able to identify the structure and coupled with this technical pattern is the 133.00 level. And we shall be using this level as a yardstick for trading activities for this week. So we can see that every attempt by the buyers to break out of the 133 0.00 level has been met with selling pressure since the um since the month since on tuesday we have been seeing selling pressure below the 133.00 level so this is more or less a sign that um there is an indecision in this market right now as participants are waiting for a a, a catalyst that will bring liquidity into this market to drive price movement so we could be looking forward to the boj's governor speech on monday could be a very good signal to give us a leverage of where price might be going. So we shall be using the 133.00 level as a yardstick for trading opportunity. So how are we going to be using this level? Well, if price breaks out of the structure here and we start, we continue to see buy pressure above the 133, we might be looking forward to taking advantage of this counter trend opportunity with a tippy target between the 134.00 level and the 136.00 area. And how did I get this? Well, if we bring out our Fibonacci retracement tool, take into consideration this impulsive move to the downside last week, running through that impulse leg, I was able to aim between the 50 and the 78.6 area, where I'm expecting that we might be seeing a bearish momentum evolve from that level, where price action might get into the structure, evolve into a reversal pattern to incite another wave of bearish momentum. Now, the other scenario I will be looking forward to is if selling pressure continues below the 133.00 level, well, I will have no choice than to join a sell momentum if price breaks down this trend line here, followed by selling pressure on my lower time frame, then I join price to the downside. And if this leads to the breakdown of that 131, which we identified on the daily time frame, this is more or less a good sign that sellers are very strong in this market as the buy positions here has been taken out to signal another wave of possible bearish momentum. And if price does a retest with selling pressure on our lower time frame, we could be added more position to our existing trade. So these are the scenarios I will be looking forward to this week, but be rest assured that I will be jumping in the comment section of this video as usual to give you an update on what my expectations are after monitoring our participants in this market will be relating to the current structure around here during the early hours of the week to decide where my, what my next line of action is going to be. I hope this video has been of immense help, though it's a little bit long. I hope it made an impact in your decision for this week. And if it did, kindly support this project by clicking the like button. Don't forget to follow me on my TradeView platform at DarkSherry, D-A-R-C-S-H-E-R-R-Y, so that you don't miss out on any, any of these updates I normally share on all of my videos. Thank you for watching this video, and Merry Christmas to you. And do have a wonderful night rest. Bye-bye. <laughs>